Hi everybody, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today with another lawnmower repair project. Today we're working on a Kohler Carriage XT7 on an Arians lawnmower. And the problem today is that we're going to resolve is to replace, repair this pull cord. And you can see in there close, you'll see that it's frayed stuck out won't go back in long cord here it's all it's all messed up so we're going to take this off and go about repairing the pull starter assembly on this Kohler carriage XT7 so here's how we're going to do it we're going to start with one two three four screws at the top for this top cover and you're going to use a Torx bit Torx T15 bit to take these out. There are four of them, and that's going to remove this first top layer plastic cover. There's two. fourth one's still in there. And that snaps off. There's the fourth. Next, right down here are two uh, eight millimeter screws that hold on this next this next up plastic cover. One of them, two of those. use a magnet to get them out and there's that you're also going to have to remove the gas cap set that aside next we got one two three ten millimeter bolts to come off I should say nuts three of those see how this is all frayed and broken. Alright, now this plastic shroud will come off. Kind of set him out of the way. And this shell should lift off. And this guy's not retracting, so I don't know what's up with the spring. But this is the end of the line. There's the knot, and here's the frayed part. So this doesn't. This seems to have lost its spring action. I'm not sure why. But we're going to try to take this off and figure, see if we can figure out why it's not retracting. It's spinning all right. But not rewinding. It's like a 10 millimeter bolt again.
I'm not sure what we're going to find down in here. I haven't taken one of these apart before. These are the two wings that come out to engage the flywheel starter connection there. It's lubricated, kind of greasy. It's a little spring in the middle. Set these parts aside. A couple of springs there whose job is to make these retract back when you release, when you stop pulling. Take them out. One, two, yep. All right, so that spring is broken. Here's the bottom part of it. The spring actually broke. This whole thing is that winding spring. It's broken. Looks like it's broken in a couple of places. One. Another piece. No, that might be part of the assembly. Get my hands all greasy. Well, you can see where this spring has broken right there. So I'm going to have to try to replace this. I don't know if I'll need to buy the whole starter assembly or if I'll be able to get the spring that fits in here. Right now, I'm not sure. But I'll go online and see if I can find the, the correct replacement part. And when it comes in, I'll turn the camera back on and show you how to put it all together. Well, the package has arrived, which is always a lot of fun. It's like Christmas. If you like getting lawnmower parts for Christmas. It's interesting how they use a priority mail bag and then put it inside another bag that they can send first class. All right, so yeah. Recoil starter. This part was about $25. And I was thinking that it's worth it. Trying to fix that old one with the broken spring just better to go with a new part. Save time and aggravation. So, uh, I'm already seeing a potential issue. Does it only go down this far on the studs? Let's take a look at the other one. Yep, that's a problem. Look at the, the hole size on these and compare it to this one. Different. I'm going to have to drill these out bigger. Because I need it to fit down not just over the over the, the bolt, but over these round posts that are a little bit bigger. Once you know it, it's never as easy as you think. All looks the same otherwise. Well, maybe it doesn't. A tad bit different. But I do think it's got to sit down a little further there. I'm going to drill these out a little bit bigger and then we'll come back and finish the uh, re repair. bent it all up. That's so frustrating. Why do these holes have to come a different size? That one went in a little nicer. That one didn't. My goodness. 
You know what? That's kind of frustrating. I gotta bend it back. So, I had to drill holes. I bent the tabs up in the process. I burnt my finger when I attempted to touch the metal and it was hot. And I'm wondering why can't they send them with the right size holes? get it to fit right. Okay, we fitted the uh, new guy in place and uh, next we start putting the shroud back on. Right there, we're all back together. All back together. And that is all there is to it. We're putting a recoil starter on your Kohler carriage. Uh, a few bumps along the way, but we got it done. Thanks for watching. Well, hi again, I'm back. I don't know if you noticed, but I had a problem before because I see another difference between the, the, old, the old recoil starter and this one. The string comes out here, which lines up perfectly with this hole in the cover, but the hole, the string comes out over on the side on this uh, new one. So possibly I didn't get quite the right part, or they make this one size fits all, and sort of had to adapt it so I wanted to show you what I did what I actually did took a, a, a scroller saw like this one and just notched a piece out of this plastic cover so now that string can pull in and out of there easily before it was just off offset and and uh, not going very good so I cut it out cut the piece out with this saw and then with a piece of um, sandpaper filed down that edge because you don't want that your string rubbing against the rough rough part of that cut now it's not rubbing at all and you don't want it to so I had to adapt it a little bit I expected this to be a little easier just take the old one out swap put the new one in it wasn't quite that easy but I think we're good to go now and I'm ready to add gas and start it up. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm sure there's some lessons to be learned here. Feel free to leave a comment or a question if you have one. Bye.